As social media becomes more and more acceptable and integrated in the workplace, the potential for problems also rises. Pamela Connolly, a lawyer with Bernardi Human Resource Law, says HR should be concerned with the role social media plays within organizations even before the hiring process begins. The online searches to vet um, potential candidates is, is actually a common mistake. I don't think employers are appreciating that the information they're getting um, is potentially discriminatory. The, the way they're using it could be if, if, they're, if it's impacting their decision not to hire someone because they see that the person has you know, small children and they think, okay, this person is not going to be totally committed to the job or maybe they're, they have a religious affiliation that you think might not work well with your workplace. I think that there, there's potential there that employers aren't completely aware of and, and that maybe they should turn their minds to because it could be risky. When someone is hired on, the concerns continue. A lot of employees don't understand that what they put on social media is not private. And they might think that they control their contacts, but they don't control their contacts' contacts. They don't, they don't, they don't have a true appreciation for what um, the impact of what they're, they're putting on social media, um, what goes out there, and that you can't get it back. The answer? Implement a social media policy. A policy just, just tells employees, listen, you know, we expect that you will conduct yourself with respect, you won't engage in demeaning comments, and if you do, well that's disciplinary potentially up to including termination. So I think as long as that's set out, it might make people think twice before they post. A successful policy will be thoughtfully worded. I think there's not enough case law for us to know, well this language is going to have this effect for sure, but we think that giving employees clear guidelines on, about acceptable conduct, about expectations in terms of removing the employer as your current employer on LinkedIn, well that maybe is an expectation that should be in your policy. While Connolly admits it may be difficult to control that with some employees, for others, it could be an important business decision. If you are terminating someone and offering a severance package, you have a good opportunity to make payment of anything above ESA or above contractual amounts, you know, contingent on making that change. So I think that you can make it binding on the employee. Whether or not you're going to pursue an employee afterwards for not doing it, maybe not. Um, but at least if you have it in your policy, chances are some employees will, will follow it. You, you'll, you'll have an easier time. Following up on former employees may also be a best practice. In case the employee is making disparaging comments about the, about the employer, you know, a lot of terminations aren't really negative, but there are employees who leave and have a bone to pick, so you can certainly find out. So it could be useful, and I, I would recommend it.